everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big, and it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We've got some excellent Major League Baseball action coming up as we have advanced to the divisional series, both in the American League and National League. So we're going to look at some National League games coming up for October 9th. But before we get started, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's look at the games here in the National League. The first one we want to look at is the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. This will be game two by the time this game comes up. The first game is on Saturday. Uh, the Phillies come in burning hot. They have won their last three, including a two-game sweep over the Miami Marlins in the wild card round, outscoring them by 11-2. to The Atlanta Braves are average status. They have lost to two of their last three games, but they came in with uh, 104 wins during the regular season, the best record in Major League Baseball. You see the teams are trending in games pretty much over the line. The score prediction has Philadelphia 7, Atlanta 4, with about 54% confidence in the prediction. On the power ranks indicator, you see Atlanta is at plus 28, and the Phillies are on the upward trend there now at plus 24. Head-to-head -head matchup, the Braves won the season series, and you can see here as you scroll down through that that's the case, but you also notice that Philadelphia won two out of the last three games in Atlanta, so that should give them a little bit of confidence heading into this series in Atlanta. And also, the Phillies beat the Braves last season, too, so they, they're having some confidence coming into the series. Um, if you take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, you can see the Braves probably, I don't have the exact numbers here, but at um, plus 47, I'm guaranteeing that this is one of the top numbers in the league. And Philadelphia has also been very consistent at plus 25, meaning that they're consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. Uh, the pitchers have not yet been named for game two in this series. Um, there's really not a whole lot of information that we're seeing at the moment on on these things here, on these oscillators, because uh, the pitchers have not yet been named. Um, but what I am going to say about this is I have a feeling that this is going to be a 1-1 split in Atlanta. So the pick is really going to come down to what happens in game one, right? So if Philadelphia lost game one, I expect them to bounce back in game two because, right, it's going to be almost impossible uh, being down 0-2 at home. And again, the other way around. If the Phillies win game one, Atlanta does not want to go back to Philadelphia down 0-2. So that the pick is pretty much going to be dependent on who wins the, the first game in this series. But either way, I think this is going to be a higher scoring game. Both teams have very high powered offenses. So let's go with over the line. The next game is the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Arizona is coming off an impressive two game uh, win in Milwaukee in the wild card route. Did not really expect that. You see both of them by three runs in lower scoring games, five to two and six to three. They're average up at the moment. The Dodgers are coming in average up as well, four and two over their last six. You can see that the teams are trending in games on opposite sides of the over underline. Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, Arizona, three games over in the last three, while the Dodgers, the last two games, have been under the line. The score prediction is looking for a lower score with Arizona coming out on top six to two. But be careful with this. The confidence in the prediction is rather low at 45%. The power ranks indicator shows the Dodgers kind of uh, an up and downward trend. So we actually going a little bit downward lately at plus 23 compared to Arizona. Right now they're at plus 15 and they are at the lowest point. Well, they were at plus 11, but um, they were up as high as plus 22. And then back in early, early in September, see plus 24. We take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams. The Dodgers have pretty much owned the Arizona. You can see the a sweep the last three at home, and then two out of three in Arizona. And then if we go back early in the season, it was Arizona winning. But once you got into the meat of the schedule, it was all Los Angeles. Uh, let's see what else can we look at here. The volatility oscillator. The stability factor. You can see here that the Dodgers have been more consistent overall with regard to the favorite underdog stats. At one point earlier on, you can see back in July, it was Arizona that was a more consistent team, but they have leveled off. They have not been as stable for over the last couple of months. So I really don't see much for Arizona, as well as they did against Milwaukee. I really feel like that this is the Dodgers' time. I like the Dodgers in this one, but since the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the over-under bet, I'm going to pass on the over-under. 
So that's really it for now. I mean, there's just only two games, so it was a rather short video this time. But be back next time for more predictions. So happy betting, and we will see you next time.